Oh, wow. I don't know if I can pick a proudest moment. There'd be several uh, to choose from. I think one of the first ones would be the first day that I got appointed and the um, overwhelming support uh, that I had from the community and from the officers and from everybody. I think one that stands out uh, the most uh, would be from Christmas Day, uh, the bombing, um, from probably one of the toughest years that I've ever been through in my 33 year career, uh, thinking Christmas Day was gonna be a day we all spent at home uh, and to learn about the disaster. But what those six officers did, uh, I think uh, was just tremendous. And it was all because of their great work uh, that we didn't talk about a loss of life. So that's, a, that's really one of the, there's a few, but that's one of the proudest. We still have a problem uh, with people that are committing crimes or doing harm uh, to people. Um, and, and we wanted to have a do no harm approach. We wanted to, every situation we respond to, we want people to understand that we have a job to do, but we're compassionate and understanding about uh, their problem, whether it's very minor to us, but it could be a major problem to them. Uh, but then we need to catch the people that are doing harms in the community and then looking for ways to, uh, to reduce that. Uh, whether it's through, uh, you know, serving uh, a sentence or through some type of diversionary measure uh, to help them be better people. And that's where group violence intervention is going to come from, where we have a U.S. attorney, uh, federal partners, district attorney, and others to sit in a room with an individual or individuals that have committed crime and to say, this is what we know about you. Uh, if you continue on this path, this is where you're going to be or we can connect you with these people over here that have a job for you, that have, uh, can get your ID or your driver's license, et cetera, and we can get you on a path to success. But if you come back down this avenue, then this is what you're gonna face. So it's a way to give people a second chance opposed to just throwing uh, people away. And I think it's gonna be a great, a great approach. Year number two is to keep building on the success I think we've had with the community engagement. I think we have a community starting to rally around that. We don't have a lot of pushback. Uh, the transparency, we want to keep uh, more of that going. I think we're uh, created dashboards so people can go in and get information firsthand on the police department. Uh, when we have an officer-involved incident, we're putting information out as quickly as possible. Uh, we have social media that is really active and, and really not just depicting uh, crime and what's going on, but the good things that officers are doing. Also, we want to build the police department uh, even more. Uh, we're, we're still short-staffed and we want to have at least two to 300 more officers. Also, we're going to have a violent crimes division. Uh, it's just something that's needed. Uh, we, we have a uh, with the prevalence of guns and the lack of conflict resolution, uh, we have a, a problem with gun violence and just overall violent crime. And with this violent crime division, we can do something with that. But then hopefully uh, we can work with the court system to try to have a better solution than uh, releasing people back out uh, without any uh, accountability. If we want to provide the level of service, I think, to be a great um, police department in this city, we have to grow at least by two to 400 officers. The more police officers we have, the more visibility we have, and the less harm that people can commit because there's a visible presence. Right now, officers are going call the call the call. And, uh, and so the presence, if you drive around, you don't see many uh, because they're answering calls. We want to create more of a visibility. So what I want the community to know is that I deeply value uh, their input. I deeply care about them. I'm from uh, this community. Uh, I love this city. I had the opportunity to go to a lot of different cities during the process. I'm firmly committed here, uh, and I want to get a lot of things accomplished. And so I want us all to come together uh, more. Maybe if we can build uh, more community collaboration, which is uh, my goal, then we can, uh, we can cut down on violent crime. And actually, I call it the best city in America. Uh, you know, we'll have a lot more people talking about it too. I care about them, I, I deeply, uh, I don't think people truly appreciate the work of 
the men and women out there. Um, people go to events every single day, every single weekend. There's something going on here in Nashville. Uh, those events are staffed uh, by police officers. So when we're enjoying football games, uh, soccer matches, singing events, you, you name it, uh, officers are away from their families and, and dedicating their time to this. Uh, I want officers to know I care about you, I care about you, your families, and I want you to spend uh, time with them. But uh, my heart is with you. Uh, I, I've worked every event you can work in this city, and I know what it's like um, to spend a holiday, uh, you know, and get a ham sandwich and an apple uh, when everybody else is enjoying time together. Uh, just know um, you're totally, you're totally appreciated.